Russia has offered its nuclear aircraft carrier dubbed Storm to India for purchase, a senior Indian Navy official said. The offer comes as India and the U.S. discuss the transfer of technology for India's future nuclear aircraft carrier the NS Vishal. A diplomat with the Russian embassy confirmed that a Russian team visiting India last month made the offer. Krylov State Research Center her KSRC. A Russian shipbuilding research and development institute is designing the carrier, also known as Stormer Project 2300E, the Navy official said, speaking on condition of anonymity. First revealed in May 2015, the Project 2300E multipurpose aircraft carrier is designed to conduct operations in remote and oceanic areas, engage land-based and seaborne enemy targets. Ensure the operational stability of naval forces, protect landing troops, and provide the anti-aircraft defense. India plans to build its second homegrown aircraft carrier, INS Vishal which will be nuclear-powered, 300 meters long, 70 meters wide and display 65,000 tons. A independent defense analyst Nidin Mehta said, the choice is to have a nuclear-powered carrier. Technology for which will not be easy to get, and international help will be needed by India in the design and development of the supercarrier. Russia has already overhauled and modernized a Kiev-class carrier cruiser renamed INS Vikramaditya for the Indian Navy from 2004 to 2013 in which they gained valuable insights into carrier building techniques through that process, Meta said. The U.S. meanwhile has offered the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System or MALS, which is, does not include nuclear propulsion technology and is unavailable for the Russian carrier according to the Indian Navy official. EMALS is a major attraction because it is flexible and allows variety of aircraft to come on the deck including the lighter, homemade light combat aircraft and heavy fighter aircraft, he said. India and the U.S. have formed a joint working group on aircraft carrier technology cooperation, but there is no discussion so far on offering nuclear technology for Indian aircraft carrier. India has still to decide whether to buy the supercarrier or build it locally, the Indian Navy official said. We will have to pay at least $12 billion to buy a nuclear power aircraft carrier that has EMALS capability but the Indian government will never approve the funding. Anil Jai Singh, a retired Indian Navy Commodore and defense analyst, is doubtful if India would buy a nuclear carrier. It is doubtful if India will be able to source a 65,000-ton carrier from another country. And will be too expensive to buy, Singh said. An Indian Ministry of Defense official said India must still finalize details on how to acquire its next homegrown carrier.